Dear Mr. Konstantin Babini, thank you so much for your invitation. It's a compliment that you are so open to let me speak here as a German family businessman. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I would like to express my sadness about the terrorist attack in Moscow. I am deeply affected and I'm together with the people in Russia. We must therefore stick together all the more. Ladies and gentlemen, the German government has ensured that the Petersburg Dialogue has been abolished. As a result, I immediately founded the Bismarck Dialogue. At the Bismarck Dialogue at my home, we saved the German-Russian Forum, which was supposed to be dissolved. And it still exists today with a new board, the German-Russian Forum mainly supported student exchanges and town twinning. The German-Russian Forum continued its work under the motto of confirming the forces of peace and promoting dialogue. We Germans, who are friends with the Russian people, will not let ourselves be brought apart. At the Bismarck Dialogue, at my home, 80 people, Russians and Germans alike, adopted a declaration of friendship between the Russian and German people. Ladies and gentlemen, I would now like to turn to economic matters in Germany. Family business, I'm a family business owner myself, are being hit very, very hard by the economic sanctions against Russia. You get in Germany the feeling that these sanctions are directed against us Germans. Energy supplies have become so expensive for our companies that many large companies are moving to USA and China. The Greens in our German government have prevailed. They had the main say. They used to be a pacifist party. Today, they are a war party. They almost only talk about weapons. Deindustrialization caused by the Greens in our government. It's progressing very quickly in our country. The Greens are increasingly becoming a party of prohibition. Unfortunately, we have lost our diplomacy. diplomacy. There's no strategy and our mainstream media are siding with the government. And these media are agitating against the Russian people and want to completely destroy economic relations between Russia and Germany. German has lost his own interests. We are being pushed into the conflict mainly by the USA and other European countries, and the media are making a significant contribution to this. I'm of the opinion that, especially in these times of conflict, we also need diplomatic cooperation between the business communities of our two countries at a -Lib. In the interest of our people in Russia and Germany, who are closely linked to the economy, we need a de-escalation and not an escalation. And I have been asking Russia for many years, please, 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 Give us Germans the visa-free entry though, so that many people from Germany can get to know the beautiful Russia and the warm welcome of the people in Russia and so that business people can visit their partners more easily without bureaucracy. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please believe me. Please believe me. Germans want peaceful cooperation in politics and in the economy. The majority of Germans want peace. And let me say to everyone involved in that, we now need a ceasefire in Europe and come together at a round table for peace, as many BRICS countries have already proposed. And if we as Germany were to make proposals here, we would enjoy a high reputation in the world. That would be my dream. Unfortunately, the West has completely forgotten one thing over the last 30 years, that Russia has repeatedly asked for a security architecture that is necessary for all Europeans, including Russia, and that takes all interest into account. We need a dialogue at a level. Let me conclude with two quotes from my most famous family member, Otto von Bismarck. First, he said, when Germany and Russia are friends, Europe does well. And the second, anyone who wants eternal peace must take into account the interest of the others. And so, I'm also working on this in Germany. Thank you for your attention.